Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Hey everybody, Walrus here from Walrus Street, bringing you another episode of SPAC Week. Just a reminder, I am not a financial professional. All information in this video is for entertainment purposes only. This week on the channel, we're taking a look at all of the SPACs that I am holding, giving you a couple of them already. This one today is the SPAC merger between ACEV and Acronix Semiconductors. This is another one that is an under the radar SPAC. Not a whole lot of excitement about it. People aren't really talking about it and I don't know why. So. This is another contrarian type SPAC that I'm invested in. The company already is generating revenue. I really love the SPAC model because it gives you a little bit more stability in your portfolio, especially in these trying times. Would you care for an egg in these trying times? From sec.gov, here is their 8K, their definitive agreement, their merger announcement between Ace Convergence Acquisition and Acronic Semiconductors. This was filed on January 7th, 2021. There are are warrants for this under ACE VW and then the commons under ACE V. If we take a look at the commons price right now, it just crossed above NAV on Friday. It was trading below $10. Now it's at $10.10. Right here, the CEO, Robert Blake, he has done the rounds on social media. If you check out on YouTube, he did a really cool interview with TD Ameritrade that talks about the company's vision, the company's prospects. I recommend you guys check that out. It's about seven minutes. They have a product called the Speed Core. Here's their 10 millionth Acronix Speed Core EF GPA IP Core shipped out. These types of investigations are totally normal for SPAC mergers. You could see just a lot of partnerships, a lot of announcements like that, a lot of positive press. This is their website, Acronix Data Acceleration. This is their primary product here. This is the Speedster 7T FPGA. I don't know what that is. So I actually went to Wikipedia because that's what I do with everything. If I don't know what it is, is I go to Wikipedia. Do you guys remember in school when our teachers told us not to use Wikipedia because it's like the devil or something? I cannot imagine ever living without Wikipedia. So an FPGA is a field programmable gate array. It's an integrated circuit designed to be configured by a customer or designer after manufacturing, hence the term field programmable. The FPGA configuration is generally specified using a hardware description language. I don't know what any of this means. Similar to that used as an ASIC. Oh, hey, I know that. Historically, FPGAs have been slower, less energy efficient and generally achieve less functionality than their fixed ASIC counterparts. However, that's changed. FPGAs such as the Xilinx Vertex 7 or the Altera Stratix 5 have come to rival corresponding ASIC and ASSPs. They're more customizable and they have comparable other specs to ASICs. They've evolved. They're evolving. This is their investor presentation. I will be linking this below the video because there's no way I can cover all of this content in a short video. This is just meant to be a preview. It covers ACE, it covers Acronix, it covers everything you need to know about the SPAC merger. Check it out, 42 pages, great read. Here's the Acronix executives and the ACE executive here. The offering size is only 150 million, $10 per share. Ownership, 7% pipe ownership. That's actually not very high as far as these pipes go. So sometimes you'll see a figure with like a 20% pipe ownership. I, that's just a horrible agreement. 7% is pretty cool. They've been dealing with tech mergers before. This is the differentiating slide why this is a high growth opportunity. So it's a pure play data acceleration solution operating in high growth FPGA and markets. AI, cloud, 5G. AI, cloud, 5G. That's like all of the buzzwords that you need about the fourth industrial revolution. Right channel. AMD and NVIDIA are covering that. Unique business model and superior financial arm. Acronix has that. Scarce, high-end, programmable logic play. This is the unique aspect about their chips. Altera and Zelenix have that. Acronix is kind of putting themselves right in the middle. Financial profile, 30% estimated revenue, CAGR, 20 to 2023. 2021, 158 million revenue projection. 76% gross margin. What? 76%. This is another software company gross margin for a semiconductor maker with a software valuation of a 76% gross margin. That is unheard of. Here's the company overview. They were founded in 2004. They're the only independent high-end FPGA provider, differentiated IP licensing, key markets, 5G automotive and AI, smart NIC, storage applications and data centers, 32% EBIT margin. That's impressive. Partnerships with TSMC, Intel, Bitware, Synopsys, Mentor Graphics. One of the big knocks 
that I've seen against this company is that a bulk of their revenue comes from Intel, but the company is trying to work away from that and they are lining up other partners. And you can see that information by checking out any of those interviews with the CEO as he's been doing the rounds. I think that was kind of damage control because of the information that Intel was like 99% of their revenue or something like that. So they are expanding beyond Intel. Check out his interviews for more information about that. AI era, one trillion devices, data, whatever. I mean, this is just ridiculous predictions. Moore's law, I love Moore's law, growth doubles every two years. AI capacity, growth doubles every three to four months. So AI affects Moore's law. If you're familiar with Moore's law, that's like the technology advancement principle. But AI is going to accelerate that because humans are going to be less and less needed. Oh, this is dark. This is kind of dystopian. I like it. Here's the advantages of the FPGA, flexibility, dynamic allocation, purpose-built for data acceleration. So this data acceleration kind of goes hand in hand with machine learning, with AI. And you can see how the FPGA semiconductors are going to be more beneficial for AI services over time. They'll just be able to handle more computing, optimize for high bandwidth AI workloads. $10 billion opportunity with multiple potential high growth markets. Here they're talking about a CAGR of 12%, 10%. And since these markets are going to be expanding themselves, that is going to increase over time. These are their solutions. They've got the high-end FPGA, the embedded FPGA, the accelerator cards. So this is a cool slide. It talks about their potential partnerships and who could use their chips. And this gives you an idea like Speedster and Speedcore chip and IP, Samsung, Ericsson, Nokia, Computational Storage, Western Digital, Micron, SK Inex, Google, Dell, Microsoft for the AI ML, Smart NIC, Cisco, Juniper, Arista, Automotive, NXP, Bosch, Mercedes-Benz, GM. No, these aren't all current partnerships, but this is what there could be in the future. These are the industries that could use these chips. And this is important for them to include in an investor presentation because this chip type is kind of abstract. So people need to understand how these semiconductors can be used in different industries. They have sales in the large markets, North America, Europe, Asia, and their revenue projections are for a 30% CAGR. That's incredible. And we've already seen that from 2020 going into the beginning of 2021 and moving forward, they think they can sustain that. Here's another cool graphic. We've seen these in the other videos. Future ticker is going to be ACHX. Mergers expected quarter two of 2021. Company's going to be valued about 2 billion. Their revenue projections going up. You could see from 2019 to 2020, huge revenue increase. From there on, it's going to be about 30% per year. This is another SPAC that has suffered greatly in the downturn. This one really suffered because it's got the double hit where it's a tech SPAC and it's a SPAC in general. So you can see that almost everybody bought into this higher than the current value. So right now, as far as SPACs go, this is a bargain. It's right at net asset value and it's going to be merging sometime here in quarter two. If I was going to compare this one to a shock, this one would be a thresher shock with that long tail flipping through the water. This one has the explosive high speed, the top speed that's going to get you that growth in the future as these future industries of AI, ML, 5G, they all start growing. Acronix is going to be seeing increased adoption over time. I have no idea what these accents are. I'm so sorry. Anyway, there you go. If you're new to investing, please check out my Weeble referral link below the video. If you sign up for a new account, deposit $100, you get a free stock. I get a free stock. Everybody wins because I'm partnered with them. The stock that I'm going to be getting is valued at $30 or higher. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to be alerted to all my content as soon as it goes live, hit that notification bell. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot. See you next time.